My name is Volker Reusing. At November the 21st of 2012, my wife, Sarah Lucia Hasselreusing, has filed a charge against unknown at the International Criminal Court at The Hague for the suspicion of a crime against humanity because of large-scale and systematical damaging of the health by the austerity measures at Greece. File number OTP CR 345-12. Since the evidence and the possible perpetrators to be considered from different groups regarding the drafting, the decision and the implementation of the conditions as well as regarding the orientation of the legal instruments for that to a strictness as it is applied at Greece in Rackett's Preamble EFSF Framework Treaty and as it is applied by the International Monetary Fund in Rackett's Conclusions by the ECOFIN com uh, Council of the uh, May the 9th of 2010, file number SN 2564-1-10, are spread over many countries. Only the International Criminal Court can deal with this case in view of its international dimension. It is no fate and no natural disaster if the health of people is damaged because one deprives them of medically needed means, even though cost reductions could also be done in other areas. It is a crime, namely a crime against humanity, according to Article 7, Paragraph 1, Lit K, Roman Statute, if one intentionally, knowing that one does it, systematically or large-scale damages the health of a civil population. It is already a sufficient degree of intention for this crime if one imposes conditions which damage the health or goes on imposing them, even though one knows that they cause or will cause such a damage, even if one has not the aim to damage the health but accepts that to reach other aims, like, for example, the rights or the interests of creditors. It had to be known to those people who are responsible for the drafting, the decision and the implementation of the austerity measures that the UN Social Pact, which is ratified also by Greece, contains a human right to the for the respective human being highest attainable standard of health, Article 12, and a basic prohibition of retrogression, Article 2. It, had also, it also had to be known to them that according to the General Command Number 14 to the UN Social Pact, resulting from that, before cuts regarding the human rights of that treaty, First, all available means have to be used, and that, particularly, the health has to be the last area regarding austerity measures. Even if the situation in the state budget and in the social insurance may have been so grave that it may have been solvable only with significant, with significant cuts into the property of the creditors, tax increases and also social cuts, they had nevertheless enough to be left for all inhabitants of Greece for their medical supply, for enough healthy food and for housing. According to an estimation by the Greek Minister of Health, His Excellency, Mr. Adonis Georgiades, 700 million euro per year would suffice 
to help the inhabitants of Greece who have no health insurance, whose number he estimates as between 1.9 and 2.4 million people. Instead, one spends up to 50 billion euros alone for the financial stability of the Greek financial sector. In order to achieve that the ICC can start a procedure and find out the guilty persons, it is not enough to prove the system and the large scale at an abstract level, but it also needs enough testimonies by people who have been damaged uh, as, or as far as they already have died by their relatives. Regarding a, a massacre against unarmed demonstrators at September the 28th, 2009 at Guinea, 150 victims, and regarding presumed war crimes in the years 2003 to 2008 at Iraq, 85 of sampled 400 cases have been enough for the ICC to presume a large scale. At Greece, for many more than 150 people, necessary medicaments and medical treatments of food and housing are not affordable anymore because of the austerity measures. Since, at an abstract level, the system and the large scale have already been explained comprehensively, we believe that already some more than 85 testimonies of concrete inhabitants of Greece whose health has been damaged by the austerity measures will be enough to move the ICC to start a procedure and to find out the guilty persons. We are glad and express our thanks that the former Greek ambassador, Mr. Leonidas Chrysantopoulos, supports us as our contact at Greece for the collection of testimonies and for their translation into English. In the following, I now read out the appeal by Sarah Lucia hassel reusing to the Greek population for testimonies. Sarah Lucia hassel reusing Torna Street uh, 7, 42283 Wuppertal, Germany. Telephone number 0049-202-250-2621. Human rights activist. Appeal to the Greek population for testimonies. File number OTPCR345-12. May the 16th of 2013. Dear ladies and gentlemen, at November the 21st of 2012, I filed at the International Criminal Court, ICC at The Hague, a charge against unknown for the suspicion of a crime against humanity because of intentions and at the same time systematic and large-scale damage to the health of the Greek population. Article 7, Paragraph 1, Lit K, Roman Statute. Everyone has a human right to the, for the respective person, highest attainable standard of physical and mental health, Article 12, UN Social Pact. In addition to that, the human right to health is protected for women by Article 12 of the UN Women's Rights Convention, CEDO, and for children by Article 24 UN Children's Rights Convention, CRC. Furthermore, Children have to be protected according to Article 19 CRC against damages. As a result, the human right to health needs to be less affected by austerity measures than any other social human right. I have directed consciously the charge against unknown because so many persons, among them the Troika, consisting of EU Commission, IMF and ECB, the Eurogroup Working Group of the Financial Undersecretaries, the Financial Minister superior to them, and many external counselors and lobbyists are involved 
in the drafts and in the decisions on the conditions in connection with the launch of the Greece support and EFSF, that presumably only the files of the um, coming into existence of the conditions and the testimonies will bring clearness which concrete persons are responsible for those conditions which have led to the damage of so many inhabitants and citizens of Greece. The guilty persons must be detected and must be held accountable and the damaging of the health of the Greeks by the austerity measures must be stopped. I have in my charge shown connections between the conditions and their results to the hunger and to the damaging of the health system at Greece, partly referring to evidence which had already been filed by Mr. Georgios Tragas and his colleagues. According to uh, the pieces of information available to me, the damages to the health have been caused especially by the cuts in the health sector and by the causing of hunger, but also by causing of homelessness and by lacking financial means for the heating of apartments. The evidence filed up to now are all on an abstract level. What especially is missing yet are testimonies of concrete inhabitants of Greece whose health has been damaged by the austerity measures. Also testimonies of friends and relatives of Greek people who have died because of health damages caused by the austerity measures or who have committed suicide because of the effects of the austerity measures are important. The point is to show to the ICC not only abstract numbers, articles and statistics, but also the human perspective. The point is that not only journalists and human rights activists, but especially as many victims as possible themselves testify and so actively engage for justice and for the punishing of the perpetrators. And for this purpose of giving evidence, I need your support in the way that you send your testimony to the ICC at The Hague in English language and referring to the file number OTPCR345-12. According to Article 15 Roman Statute, everyone can send evidential uh, pieces of information regarding presumable cases of crimes according to the Roman Statute. The address for sending evidence is according to the website of the International Criminal Court. International Criminal Court, Information and Evidence Unit, Office of the Prosecutor, Post Office Box 19519 two five zero zero CM the Hague the Netherlands or wire fax zero zero three one seven zero five one five eight five five five. The point at issue is the damaging of the health by concrete austerity measures. Please explain since which time your health has been damaged by which measure. This can refer to medicaments or to health services of physicians which are not available anymore or only with unaffordable co-payments or self-payments or not anymore close enough to the place where you live. If you are starving, the point for your testimony is since when and because of which cuts, for example, of your pension or of your wage, have, you have not uh, had any more enough means for your sufficient nutrition. Also, if the loosening of the protection against unjustified dismissal or the rise of specific costs of living are the cause, your testimony is important. Please also testify if you are not undernourished only because you are supported by a charitable organization. If you have become homeless or if you have to live in an unheated apartment because of a lack of financial means, please also explain since when, because of which cuts, you have not been able anymore to afford the necessary means. 
If possible, please attach to your letter to the ICC also photocopies of pieces of evidence which show that with uh, the financial means available to you, the necessary costs for food, apartment, or health uh, could not have could not be paid anymore. If you have pieces of evidence, since when the persons who drafted or decided on the conditions of for Greece must have known what they caused to the health of the citizens and of the inhabitants of Greece with these conditions, please inform the ICC and also me about these pieces of evidence. Because a crime against humanity, Article 7 Roman Statute, exists only with a certain degree of intention that one knows, respectively must know, what one causes but nevertheless does it. Every testimony with evidential pieces of information regarding the damaging of the health of concrete persons by the conditions is an important contribution to the solution. In addition to that, the more evidential testimonies are filed, the more is shown to the ICC that it is important to the citizens and the inhabitants of Greece to give a high priority to the detection of the persons responsible for the damaging of the health and to the deterrence against further damages. With friendly greetings, Sarah Lucia Hasselreusing.